Hi guys, welcome to the Weekly Crunch Chronicles. My name's Fiona and today I'm going to be reacting to my old tweets, which is going to be terrifying. So Twitter is sadly a big part of my life and I've been using it for almost like two years now. So I'm going to go back in time and see what I was tweeting about. Let's get started. I'm just going to start scrolling back. This is going to take a very long time. Maybe I can get to the beginning. Doubt it. That would be um, very rare. But you know, here I am. Just really going, just really going through. Um, I'm only in May right now, and it's July, so. Look at my highlight, y'all. Look at it. Okay, it keeps going. All right, I'm gonna start right here. April 29th, 2015, my bus driver laughed at me this morning. I don't remember that, but I guess it happened. The same day. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I used to like curse a lot in my tweets. Um, so this one's, we're making cupcakes in first period probs in group, so I'm finna be like, listen here, how we making cupcakes in this bitch. And then the same day we burned the cupcakes. Um, the next day, I heard Fallout Boy playing downstairs and I tripped running down there. Ah! <laughs> June 1st, 2015, I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. That was a relatable thing during the time. <laughs> I was just thinking about this one, which is weird, okay. Why do YouTubers make such a big deal that they're in a different location? Like, it's not magic, you are just a human capable of moving around. June 6, 2015. In Swedish, there's a phrase that says, Nublir det andra boyar, and it means life waits for no one, and I think that's beautiful. <laughs> the same day, I tweeted, lol, it actually means there will be other cinnamon buns. Oh my god, I used to, like, curse so much in my tweets. Alright. Okay, and now, um this vine um, that my friend Zuri showed to me. Um, we really enjoy dolphins. If I could swim with the dolphins, the soft and gentle... So yeah, there's that. I really don't have an explanation for that. We just thought it was really hilarious. This ain't no chicken, baby. It's my schoolwork. And I literally grilled my schoolwork. Like, I put it in the grill and I grilled it. I set it on fire. June 12th, 2015. I'm fluent in Swedish. I say totally convincingly as I awkwardly type into Google Translate. <laughs> June 20th, 2015. I've adopted some new memes over the past week. Get ready. Hashtag memification. Um, there are a lot of Pepe memes. Uh, I guess around June of 2015 was when they were, like, really popping. June 28th, 2015, unprecedented Pope smuggling. June 28th, 2015, hashtag Kanye. You know, I can remember tweeting a lot of these things, but like, hashtag Kanye, I have no recollection of. Okay, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit and just like stop randomly somewhere. <laughs> okay, this was like kind of recent, not like recent recent, but like kind of recent. Um. November 16th, 2015, twist and twirl, break your ankle, break your neck at the perfect angle. <laughs> Props to Michael for coming up with that. That is like our theme song. November 20th, 2015, roses are red, corn is yellow, what are you doing? Get out of my face. Um, that is some beautiful literature. Good job, Paspio, and I think you could have won like an award for that or something. November 29th, 2015, dented corn, dented niblet. December 16th, 2015, someone just came in my Excel class, yelled, Big Tacos, and left. Um, I vividly remember that. It wasn't just, like, out of the blue. Like, we had tacos that day. Um, I can't say why. That's classified information. But we had tacos that day, and someone just came in, yelled, Big Tacos, and left. 
January 8th, 2016. Isn't it funny how you can be talking to this really nice guy and then you find out he supports Ben Carson and you have a seizure? March 3rd, 2016. This guy came around the corner, saw me, and said shh, then walked away. I remember that. Um, I missed the bus, so I was waiting in the front of the school for my mom to pick me up, and I was just like standing there. And the wall is kind of like this, and then it goes in like a tiny bit, and goes like that and goes back out. And so I was kind of standing in that little indent part, and this guy walks past, stops, looks at me, says shh, and then keeps walking. This was around May. Um, my friend and I were making all these like bro jokes, so we were just like incorporating them into like, I don't know, words. So, American bro doll. What did you eat for lunch? Brotato chips. Leonardo bro da Vinci. Leonardo DiCaprio bro. Bromo sapien. No bromo. Okay, and that's some of the pretty recent ones. I think what I should do now is take a look at my drafts because they can get pretty wild and funny. Alright, so let's go to my drafts. Okay, so the first one is, you probably think you're vertical, but you're probably actually horizontal. Um, I'm pretty sure it was around like 1am and I was just like laying in bed thinking like, well, if the world is like round, like... You're not actually like standing up straight. You're probably just like sticking out from the earth like over there. Crazy, bro. Um, the second one is of me blocking a Trump supporter. Now your hair smells like weenies. And this was referring to um, that like Twitter video where it's like this girl and instead of using like a curling iron to curl her hair, she like rolls it up in uncooked hot dogs. And like leaves it in there and it gives her like perfect curls but like now your hair smells like weenies i am anti-slime videos i am grossed out um that one like why are those like slime videos like blowing up on instagram because it's just like slime and they're just like touching it and it makes those weird noises and i don't like it and it freaks me out and last but not least how the hell do you spell beethoven Alright, so I think that was cringy enough. Um, hopefully I don't get sued by the whatever brothers for reacting to things. Is that still a thing? So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stay crunchy.